Tuesday, May the 18th. Hope everyone's having a great day. Yesterday we looked at the fact that if Peter's going to get back on his feet and go on and do right, which we know he did, praise the Lord, Jesus had to address some things. So we saw the setting last week, and today and this week we're looking at the solution. Number one, yesterday we talked about how that the Lord had to recall Peter's failure because we cannot minimize sin. Sin must be addressed, confessed, and repented of. But then that brings us to this. Not only did he recall Peter's failure, but he respected Peter's feelings. Again, listen to these verses in verse number 15. So when they had dined, Jesus saith to Simon Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me more than these? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto them, Feed my lambs. Now skip down to verse number 20. Then Peter, turning about, seeth the disciple whom Jesus loved, following, which also leaned on his breast at supper, and said, Lord, which is he that betrayeth thee? Now, we notice from these verses, and we put together, that John was following them, which leads us to say this, they took a walk. Jesus and Peter walked away from the crowd of disciples. You say, well, what's the big deal about that? The Lord's going to deal with Peter, and the Lord dealt with Peter's sin. But there's no need to rub it in his face in front of everyone else. He took him aside. He first privately met with him. The book of Proverbs says, Debate thy cause with thy neighbor himself. The Lord went to Peter. The instructions in the word of God with church disciplines in the first step is, Go to your brother yourself. That's what the Lord did here. They took a walk, and they talked about it. Their first, His first act wasn't to sit and embarrass him in front of everybody else. We have a problem amongst our independent Baptist churches many times when someone does fall and someone is wounded. Again, I've already said, we're not going to hide sin. We will address sin, and sin needs to be repented of. But the other ditch on the other side of the road is this. Like vultures, they come and just eat them alive. Pick them apart. Throw them away. That's not God's plan either. God was sensitive to Peter's feelings. He respected them. At some point, and I don't know whether it was he said it or just did it, but the two of them began to walk away and a little distance from the rest of the men. And they had this conversation. He wanted Peter to get right, but he respected Peter's feelings in his heart. He took him aside. To me, this shows the great patience, long-suffering, and gentleness and meekness that the Lord always works with. He could have addressed this situation and had this conversation in front of all these men, but he didn't. Because his goal was not to embarrass Peter, but to restore him. And so may we have the same goal in our life. All of us have been given the ministry of reconciliation, and may we do the same thing and try to reach others. Let's use the gift and the time and the opportunity God gives us. and Respect people's feelings. Try to love them and try to restore them to where they should be. Peter's going to get right. But it started with the Lord recalling Peter's failure as he respected Mm -hmm. Peter's feelings. I'll see you tomorrow.